Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a fun one. The Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena, right? So this is a fun one because this was actually given to me as a challenge. Here comes a new challenger! So I do get a lot of requests from my viewers on YouTube, on my Discord. This particular guy, I'll put the uh, challenge up on the screen right now, came onto my Discord. So shout out to you. His name is Kickstart My Heart. So yeah, let's read the challenge. I just wanted to say that I appreciate the video, so thank you very much. But I'm also here to issue a challenge. Since this particular problem has stumped my entire university engineering class. So he's an engineer and he couldn't get this game to work. All right. And the challenge is, can you get the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena working on the Steam Deck? So far, it doesn't work well with hardly any Proton with thrown at it. And it's an abandonware game, delisted from Steam and GOG. Though you can get a copy pretty much anywhere. All right. So, and then he said, So good luck, you guys. All right. So, I don't really normally do challenges. Well, I've, I've never had a challenge uh, on my channel before. So, I did get curious. All right. So, um, don't go and start giving me challenges because I'm not going to do them all. If it's, if it's an interesting game, I might. So I did get curious with this, and the first response from me was emulated on um, RCPS3 or Senior, because I know it's a PS3 game or an Xbox 360 game, because I searched it online. And that was my first response, and then I, I thought I was going to just leave it at that. And then um, I got curious, and I started installing the game on my Steam Deck, all right? Challenge accepted. No. So yeah, let's take a look at it. Now, I've already installed it, so you know that the challenge is done and i'll show you how i did it in the later part of the video let's just boot the game up and enjoy it first enjoy the prize so if you're watching this um what's your name let me check your name again so i forgot your name kickstart my heart all right so this guy actually jumped onto my discord server left the challenge and i never saw him online again and we never spoke he never private messaged me he just jumped onto my general chat chat room and and yeah left the challenge so yeah i hope you're watching i hope you're watching this all right so i'm using the steam deck controller like steam deck to control so yeah i'm controlling this all right so i've tested the game out a little bit um yeah let's go to gug okay just a new game okay so i read online that escape from butcher bay is playable I never tried that because the challenge was for Assault on Dark Athena, but I heard that you can get this game running on the Steam Deck. It's Assault on Dark Athena that's troubling everyone. All right, sorry. Okay, yes. So normal, and I have no idea. I think, is this a movie franchise? Is this Van Diesel? Is that character Van Diesel? And is it a movie franchise into a computer game? Or is it a computer game that's like that made a movie? And they use Van Diesel as the lead. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe I have to study it. Let me know in the comments if you know. So let's get into like controlling the character and then we'll just leave it at that, I guess. Yeah, I think this is Van Diesel. Like it really resembles Van Diesel. I'm pretty sure, even though I, I don't know. The Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. All right, so I hope this game is popular. I hope there's a lot of people wanting to play this game on the Steam Deck and watch this video. All right, so I'm moving. I'm mo oh, it's a first-person game. I'm not really a first-person like fan. Okay, press J to go. Okay, so so it's keyboard controls, but I'm actually using the like the this to control. The on screen is um. Let's go to options, controls. Okay, they have game controller. All right, but yeah, I guess it's just keyboard uh, layout on the screen. That's a bummer, but it is a pretty old game. So subtitles, I like to keep subtitles on. Okay. All right, so yeah, I think that's about it. So it's a first person shooter, I think. Combat. Alright, enough of that. 
So I'll see you back in um, desktop mode. So let's just go to desktop mode and I'll show you how it's done. All right, see you back in desktop mode. Okay, we're back on my Steam Deck desktop mode. So there's two applications you need. One is Lutris. The other one is Proton Up QT. All right, so if you don't have these, go to your Discover store here and search for it, Lutris. Okay, so this orange beaver thing, download this and Proton. Type Proton and you should be able to see this, this uh, green up icon. Okay, Proton up. Okay, and we also need your game folder, all right? So I have my game folder here in my downloads. I've got the Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. So this is the game folder. I installed the game. I got the installer and I installed it on my Steam Deck. So I don't care where you install it, but you could install it on your PC and then transfer the game folder to your Steam Deck. That's also another way, or you can install it directly on your Steam Deck. So make sure you just have the game folder. And inside the game folder, there's a system folder and then win32 x86. And the exe is right here, all right? So make sure you have the game folder. And then we're going to open Lutris. So make sure you open Lutris. Go to the top left corner, this plus button. It's add game. And then here, add locally installed game. Okay. Then I already have Assault on Dark Athena. So I'm going to call this. A O D A, all right, short form Assault on Dark Athena as a demo. So, and then Runner, I'm going to use Wine, runs Windows games, okay. Then, Game Options, Executable, I'm going to browse for the game exe. So, go back to my downloads, The Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena, System, Win32x86, and then darkafena.exe. Okay, and then wine prefix, I'm going to create a new one. So go to, um, you can in, uh, create it anywhere you want. I normally create my prefixes under the document. So I already have a prefix directory. Then I'm just going to create a new one. All right, so I'm going to call it AODA, short form. Okay, so this is just a blank directory. All right, so I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put my wine prefix. I'm going to copy the location here. Well, you don't have to, but you can just, paste it here or you could just browse for it all right so browse for documents prefixes aoda all right so this is where my this is where my prefix would go prefix architecture arch, sorry prefix architecture i'm going to leave it on the de, uh, default so auto and then runner options i'm going to use wine version wine ge 821 x86 64 all right default if you don't have this, this one works. I'm sure you could use other ones, but this one works for me. So if you don't have this and you want to get it, that's why I told you to get Proton up. So load Proton up. And then when this loads, install for, make sure it's on Lutrix flat pack. Okay, add version, compatibility tool, YNGE, select YNGE, and then version. So you can download the version you want. So if you're watching this at a later date, there might be a newer version, so probably 8.22 or 23. Yeah, now the latest is GE Proton 8.21. All right, so I already got this. I'm not going to install it. Press install if you don't. And you probably have to restart the system or restart Lutris for it to show up here. So yeah, I'm using Wine GE 8.21 x86.64. Okay, just to take note. All right, so we're basically done. So just click save. All right. Go back to our Lutris, so you can see here AODA, and then we're gonna play. All right, we're gonna run it, and it should populate our our. It will create the prefix folder. So you can see here it's empty right now, right? So once we press play, it's gonna start with the wine configuration. It's populating. Yeah, see, it's populating the. It's populating. See, we got the drive C and DOS devices here. That's 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 what we want. All right. So, okay. And then we get this error. The game doesn't run because it says this uh, GL thing, the open GL, all right? Open GL, no error. So I read online. So uh, I read online that uh, it should be because it, this game runs on open GL, uh, an old, like, old one, and Steam doesn't have it. Steam Deck doesn't have it. So that's the issue everyone's having. That's why they can't load this game up. 
okay and there's a workaround right so we're going to now install mesa m-e-s-a so mesa is like a uh, graphics drivers for linux and there's something called mesa git which is like the beta channel like you get the latest ones which are not deployed onto your steam deck all right so first we need to go to your steam deck yeah, the, the start button. I always call this the start button. I'm not sure what it's called on, on Steam Deck. So because I'm a Windows user, I call this the start button. Go to all applications. Go to K, under K, K for console. Open up the console. And we're going to first add the Flat Hub beta. All right, so copy this code. I'll leave the link in the description. Don't worry. Just copy this, paste it. I already have it, so I don't think it works for me. All right. But if it's new, see here, remote flat hub beta already exists, so I already have it. For you, it might download and install. And then once we've got the flat hub beta, we can install the Mesa Git packages. All right. There's so there's two. There's two of them. One is the GL and one is GL32. Okay. So all right, I must think that. Okay, let me just copy this. So I already have it, so it's not going to install. Actually, I might I can uninstall it. All right, let me uninstall it. Let me. Okay, so I think I just go to here. Now it's installed. I can uninstall it. So un. Okay, so uninstall. Okay, let me uninstall it. Just to show you what it looks like when I install it, I'll do the first one. All right, so I uninstalled it. All right, now when I paste okay it's looking for it it's going to install it it's going to download like 100 megabyte okay it's less than 151 megabytes so i'm going to install it yes so let it download and install hope it's fast oh, it's not too bad not too bad yeah so this is what you'll be seeing if you're installing it let me copy the next one this one i'm not going to uninstall all right this one i'm not going to uninstall i'm just going to uninstall the first one all right, so installation is complete. All right, now let me paste the new one. This is the GL32 one. So I already have it. See, it says it's already installed. All right. So now we installed the latest like beta drivers, graphic drivers onto our Steam Deck. We can you can run it with the flat pad, but there's no option for um for Lutris. Not that I know of. So we need to run launch options in the Steam. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to Go back to Lutris, highlight your game, right click it, and then create Steam shortcut. Okay. And then since my Steam was already open, I don't think I would have the shortcut. Okay, let's let me double check. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can see I don't have the shortcut here. Okay. It's starting with A, so it should be here. What you need to do, you need to close it totally. So go to the icon on your taskbar, right click it, exit Steam. All right, so make sure it's completely closed. Make sure this icon is gone. Yep, it's gone now. Now we can open Steam again. And we should be able to see our created shortcut, which you can open in gaming mode. All right, see here, AODA, that's the shortcut. Let's play it. It should. We should get the same error because we did nothing, right? It's not running on the latest drivers yet. All right, so we get the same error, okay? So that's good. We know it's working. Now we go to its properties and see here, launch options. We need to run this flat pack because it's actually a flat pack. So that's why we use Lutris because it creates a flat pack shortcut here. So we can run this flat pack with the latest drivers, okay? So you need to add this command, flat pack GL drivers equals Mesa git command all right so copy this i'll leave the link like this command in the description make sure you copy it don't type it you might type it wrong and then you're going to leave a comment saying it doesn't work all right so here flat pack all right so make sure the percent and the run make sure there's a space all right so when you copy it make sure there's a space all right in between don't just don't just like copy it and then it's stuck to the run that messes up the code all right make sure there's a space Okay, so that's my hint, my tip. All right, now it should work. Okay, now let's try it. Play.
Okay, we get the error. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Nope, get the error. Let's just close Steam. Let's close Lutris. Okay. Let's exit Steam and let's restart. It might take a few tries. Like I don't know why it like it doesn't kick in straight away, but uh yeah. The process is correct. The process is correct. It's just maybe it's not kicked in. Okay. Let me double check. Let me double check the options. Yep, it's done. All right, it's kicked in. All right, let's run it. Okay, yeah. Now, see, now it works. That's how it's done. So, challenge completed. Challenge accomplished. So, uh, thank you for uh, giving me this challenge. I'm a little wary if I should upload this video because once I do, I, I'm anticipating that a lot of viewers would start giving me challenges. But yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, but I might not like handle every single challenge. So if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.